Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, what's new in your whole universe? I hope that everything is fine, and it's me, a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences. And today we're gonna watch uh, Dave Chappelle, and he will speak about racism and why a little bit of racism is good for us. I don't know why, and uh, because in Russia it is almost everywhere, and uh, if we I don't speak for myself like I react on it, but I know many of different people who will look at a black person and they will look at him like he's a, he went from he's a dwarf from a coal coal cave and he went from it like a, it is snow white he is going to snow white with his black face and uh, they are so amazed of him and uh, they they feel this uh, kind of whoa. Who is he? And uh, they point on, uh, to him fingers and uh, laugh sometimes at him. And uh, it is what hap happened in, in Russia, but uh, it is rarely right now. But in 2015 it was, it was, it was in, uh, in a better quantity of cases. And uh, right now we're gonna watch it. Uh, let's uh, do this together. If uh, I will not understand some words, uh, please uh, allow me to ask you to ask you for help in the comment section below, and you can uh, leave your your definitions of words. It will be so helpful. I and uh, if I will understand, I will say it. Okay, let's go watching. Have fun. Who do this song? What, uh, what he said uh, firstly about song. Who do this song? You know, that's just my grand our grandmother used to sing that when she cleaning up. That's a Negro spiritual. Black work song. Not everybody know about that. I know. See, white people, you guys might whistle when you work. <laughs> you dig? But that's how you... I don't know why, but uh, one laugh on the right, uh, on the right headphone is so laughable and so so rich and so throaty and uh, it is really <laughs> interrupting a bit for me as a Russian. Okay, he started to speak about uh, his grandmother snores when he she is sleeping and uh, also about his uh, whistle when he does work. Okay. You can tell what kind of work we're actually doing. <laughs> Who is laughing so loud on my right, uh, right headphone? D d d do you hear it too? I study that kind of <laughs> I do anything that has to do with race. I read a little here, see a little there, and I travel. That's always good. Uh, traveling has made me a, a racism connoisseur, if you will. Sewer as you will? Like uh, rescue? will sue sue means uh, going to chart uh, no go going to court and uh, doing doing things in a court like i object you or something will it is like a process maybe or maybe it is a car wheel or a wagon wheel and okay maybe we'll understand further you know it's different from region to region Anyone ever been down south? Yeah. So you guys know what I'm talking about. And the racism down there is just <laughs> it's perfect. It's due to a perfection. It's comfortable, it's out in the open. There are no secrets in Mississippi. Everybody knows the deal. Morning, nigger. Morning, sir. Is it true? I know. I think that nowadays it is not super true because uh, it was shooted maybe in 2000 or uh, 1995 or 1998, 1999. But uh, nowadays I think that uh, it is less common. <laughs> 
Not up here. You hit the big cities, man. It's different. It's always a secret. And we should do like them. We should keep our shit out in open. Then a little. I mean, with limits. Yeah. You don't want to say whatever comes to your mind. That might be a little much. White dude be walking down the street, minding his business. And the brother walk up to him. Hello. You white oppressor, you slave master rapist of Africa. Be <gasps> Why, hello, my big lip spear chucking friend. <laughs> Some phrases, they are so uh, non-understandable because it is so slangy. So with a slang and uh, I don't understand slang. I, I understand formal type of speech and uh, this is so uh, maybe offensive. Touché, honky. <laughs> so, Whitey, what did you do today, huh? Oppress a new land and make the people there Christians against their will? Oppress a new land and make the people there Christians against their will? Oppress a new land and make the people there Christians against their will? Like uh, explore new land and then make a Christian community and uh, it will be against their will. The will means that their willpower. <laughs> what did you do, fellow? Burn those big black lips on a crack pipe as you missed your job interview? <laughs> Alright, it's like a... Why racism is not, is not super bad uh, and it is a good thing because because they can laugh uh, to each other and uh, they can uh, do kind of stereotypes ping pong to one side and then to another. Easy, Whitey, you're cutting deep. All <laughs> oh, this chit chat has got me thirsty. If you will excuse me for a moment, I'm gonna go to the Korean store and get something to drink. <laughs> You slanted eyed, ruined the economy in our neighborhood by opening stores and taking the money out the community. Chink! <laughs> well, <laughs> good afternoon, you browse around but never buy anything, suspicious looking nigga! <laughs> this I understood because uh, some black people uh, with N words, they. You have stereotypes in America, then. Uh, people who are with black color of chocolates uh, or truds, uh, they uh, they uh, pre prefer and they tend, they have a tendency to steal things, to rob things or bag things in a, in a shop, like shoplifting. After a while, that might be too much. She can't help it. If you're an American, you're a racist. We brought up from the beginning to think in generalizations. We never look at the individual. We rarely look at the individual. I'm a racist. I know I'm a racist. You know how I know? The other day I caught myself being racist against myself. There's so much getting you know, on, I got mixed up. Forgot whose team I was on. One time I was reading the paper, man, this story came on about the, uh, this guy was suing a department store because they wouldn't let him play Santa Claus, you know, because he's black. And I was actually, like, relieved when the department store beat him. That's bad. But I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for the idea of a black Santa Claus. Man, that shit would suck. So we wouldn't get our presents to the 28th, 29th. Kids. Santa got caught up with some in Vegas. Woo. I had to sell some toys to get back. Shit. Where them cookies at? I didn't understand uh, fully it because uh, maybe some. I don't have enough uh, social and cultural experience of American people here for understanding these jokes. But I 
understood that he was speaking about that he is a racist too and uh, me it means that he sometimes goes against his own uh, part uh, his own uh, his own side when he is allocating and uh, and where he is involving yes and uh, participating he's part of community black people community and he goes against it sometimes and uh, thus uh, phrases offensive to this community too and uh, also he uh, his last joke was about a santa claus and uh, it was uh, about that he didn't find a black santa claus in his life and because uh, this Santa Claus maybe will will say some phrases like give me your cookies or give me your chicken or something like this chicken wings okay i understood it thank you a lot for watching it i hope you enjoyed it if you if you did please let me know in the comment section below and uh, have a good time uh, with your mood i understood <laughs> with your mood i understood I understood that my English is improving daily, and uh, I don't know, am I happy about it or not? Because the better my quality of English, the better I start, I start to understand that sometimes jokes are not super relatable to me. Or maybe I don't understand they wor their words that uh, supposed to sound to me funny, like S words f words n words uh, and something like this uh, or f if we mean lgbt community and uh, maybe i don't have enough of emotional connection with these words because last week i improved my english a lot by writing and uh, i found myself that uh, i can speak with a better grammar with uh, better and richer vocabulary but uh, i don't uh, i don't feel the language fully like uh, these people do i don't know why okay we'll we'll learn more and maybe i will relate to it better thank you a lot for watching have a wonderful day and uh, improve yourself daily and uh, have good fantasies not monstrous ones <laughs> Bye-bye.